what's going on guys welcome to day 84 of immortal um i really wasn't gonna do a video today i haven't had like you know the best of days but um you know with some of our old members i had to ban one like two on one zero three one one i'm not sure what was up with him but he was just being a complete prick um and basically what happened was he was complaining he was whining about how the server was legit and i wouldn't let him spawn items i wouldn't let him use his mods or anything like that and by the way i'm actually going to show a project so keep um watching but um so i had to ban him and then you know and then he decides to start something on the forum so i ban him from the forum i delete his account so he decides to make a new account obviously the first time wasn't good enough so not only did i get his ip logged i also um banned him permanently from the server i mean he cannot appeal but he's also ip banned from the um forum so he can't even make a new account with the form, um, unless he goes to another house and does it. But if I find out it's him, you know, whatever. So anyway, um, today we're going to go, where is it? Okay, so I'm not sure what the name of this place is. It's like Harothagar. It's insanely complicated to pronounce. But um, I think if you walk far enough uh, north. I believe it's north. Yeah, he said it was north too. Um, we hope all you who enter here. It's kind of a medieval place, if you ask me. But uh, remember, this is legit. Before you see everything inside, um, the bricks. He actually uh, Catanzo, I think his name is. Um, he went through and gathered each and every one of these um, enough to make this entire path. I think I counted it. It's like um, 680 brick blocks or something. Um, which divide that by four, and that's how much bricks, and then divide that by four, that's how much clay he had to get, so, um, that's my sign there. So, anyway, let me just show you guys off here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my map. I don't think anyone's on right now, but, um, consult founders, you like some land. Yep, Hrothgar, I think it's from Skyrim. I think that's what the project name comes from, I'm not sure if it's based off that. But the first thing you see is this huge-ass farm, well, it's not really huge, but, you know, it's pretty nice. Um... There's some melons in the background there. Um, I didn't want to click down. I mean, I could do that, but I didn't want to accidentally break one of those. Uh, so, again, I'm lost. Uh, one of the things I do like about this project is um, they put a lot of time into it, as well as, you know, it's not completely walled off, which I do like in a project. Um, granted, I don't have a problem with uh, structure being walled off, but uh, selling home. I don't like homes like this. It's just, like, the perfect... Um, that has like no design put into it i don't like stuff like that where did i get these two things from oh by the way this golden hoe was a joke i said it's the most useless tool ever and someone decided to give me one um here's someone's house it looks like uh catanzo i think they're the only ones living here they have a mini farm here but you know it's a nice little project they have going on um so as you can see it's like right on the border of the 500 if you've been watching the chat um, then we have this little building over here. The main event of this whole project is the castle, which I'm going to show you. Um, he said it's, uh, Assassin Ninja said it was pretty much done, so I'm going to go on what he is saying. This isn't done, um, at least I hope it's not. I mean, it's pretty bad. But you see that castle? We're going to go in there in a second. Um, this took a couple days, I think. Um, here's someone else's house, Eli and Catanzo. Oh yeah, I think the rule was, um, I may be wrong, but they had to put one of the owner's names on there, that looks like a penis, um, on there, just for security reasons, I mean, they didn't have to do it on chest or anything, I can't read that, um, you know what, I can tell you exactly what it says, okay, so it says, for Shizlet's first plot, approved by Jarl Cotanzo, okay, so, um, again, it's a nice small little project, I like it, and here we're gonna go to the Castle Arcadia, um, I do like that name, Arcadia. It looks like they're trying to grow a tree. Uh, if they want a tree to grow, they're going to need more space, obviously. Um, so, I'm not even sure where to start in this thing. I haven't explored it since it was, like, being built. So, a lot of this stuff is new to me as well. Um, this just has a little landing up here. I think that should be higher right there. Uh, chest. I guess for temporary storage. I haven't seen Catanzo on in a few days. Uh, it's been a little bit, but uh, I myself haven't been on uh, too much lately uh, for reasons. You know, I've just been insanely busy. Here's the top of the castle. Um, oh, God. 
Uh, they have some lapis there. They do have a design out front. I'm sure you guys saw it earlier. I just didn't pay it any attention. Um, did I already go in here? Yeah, a, a lot of the rooms are completely empty. Um, I guess they're either going to wait to decorate it, but in Minecraft, uh, my personal opinion is the interior decorations on a lot of buildings um, is insanely complicated. I mean, you can make outside of a building look good. It doesn't take much. It just takes a little bit of effort. Making something look uh, decent inside with the way Minecraft works, with the most part, these squares, um, you know, it is very, very, it can be hard um, just to make something look nice. But, you know, people, they've been able to design tables. And, of course, there's items like that can help place a room together. So it looks like there's a bunch of rooms in here. I'm not sure if they're for sale. It's a smiley face. Um, so this is back to the outside. So yeah, he told me it was almost done, but I don't think it is. And again, it's just weird. Um, I do like the project quite a bit. Uh, what's this lead to? Plot approved by Assassin Ninjas belongs to Ray. Um, I like the use of wool here. Some people can use wool like really effectively and make it look good. Uh, and some can't. I do like the way it looks. It's not like overdone. It's not all the same color. Um, it's not a bunch of colors, but you know it's really nice. Um, so this looks like it's a plot in the making. Um, I know Assassin has been making plots. Um, I think this belongs to Nothed. Um, but the, the thing I like about people that come on the server is some people, they, you know, well, there's one thing I don't like. They're lazy. They don't want to do anything. They want the resources handed to them, and they refuse to build if they have to go get the resources themselves. And to them, you know... They can leave, really, because nothing's going to change. We're going to have it legit. Um, brewing stands up here. But my problem is, well, things I love, is when people, they come and they mind their own business, but they start a project like this. They may ask for help from a few people, but for the most part, they do it themselves. Um, I mean, I love community projects, but um, which is what this is. This is just a few guys. I think they're all related, like cousins, sister, brother, stuff like that. Um, they came on here and they decided to build. And when people come on here and be productive, um, I really do enjoy that. Um, because that means I'm doing something right. They're doing something right. And, um, by the way, showing off something like this, a project, looks great in Doku. Because Doku's like a medieval texture pack. But, with the stuff like that, I do really appreciate it. And, um, I really do encourage these buildings more. I mean, I know it's harder because you have to go get the resources themselves. But we have features such as the Nether that's up for free. And, um... The wastelands, which kind of gives you almost every resource at your fingertip. A lot of the things that rely on mobs are PvP, which has been available to everyone. Um, sorry, for two days. Um, but it's about to go back to being a premium service, uh, probably right after this video goes up. Um, so I hope people took advantage of that to get the resources they need. Um, that go in here. Let's go in. Uh, so I think I was just in here, right? Oh my god, I'm just walking in circles now. Um, I tend to do that a lot. No, was I? No, I haven't been in here. Okay, so when people, they come on here, they build. I, I as a server admin, love it when people enjoy their time. But there's a few things that it's, I'm not going to change for one person. Like some people, they love the fact that the server is legit, and some people just cannot stand it. I personally love a legit server. I like to play legit. When I do single player, it's legit. Um, and... With all this said, um, I really do appreciate the people that come on and try to make Immortal an awesome community. And, um, and then we have the people like um, 21110311, who at one time was moderator, and we've had our troubles before. Because he basically straight up told us that he wanted moderator just for the features. And then he went and reapplied after um, he requested not to be a moderator, because he was mad, probably over the same, butt hurt, basically. Um, so what happens is I, of course, took him off as per his request, um, so, you know, I wasn't, like, surprising him, he requested to be temporarily taken off, but when he wanted it again the next day, I'm like, nah, buddy, you can't just come back in and take over after you basically raged yesterday, um, now, this happened about a month ago or so, uh, maybe just a few weeks, I don't know, but, um, I'm like, you have to reapply, and then, I, of course, I didn't approve it, and, you know, and today, when he came on to be a smartass over me not letting him use his mods, um, like, too many items and stuff like that, he's like, um, 
he said something came up, and then I told him, you know what, you basically straight up told us that you wanted it just for the features, and he's like, no, I didn't, and I have chat logged somewhere, I'm just not going to pull it up, because everything's logged here, um, so, with this guy, I'm like, alright, dude, you're retarded, so I waited for him to go, to go offline, and then I banned him, uh, because he's like, oh, I'm gonna go play with my mods, I'm like, alright, and I'm sure he was gonna come back and install x-ray or something, just to break a rule, but he didn't, um, at least to my knowledge, so I didn't let him, um, I banned him as soon as he went off, just because he just straight up pissed me off, so then I posted an appeal on the forum, it was a short ban, it was 24 hours, right, so he has a chance to appeal to get the ban lifted after that 24 hours, if not, then it goes on until he appeals, and then the 24 hours start, that's how things happen here, so I'm going in circles, by the way, um, so what happened was he just doesn't appeal, right, instead he goes on the forum, posts some smart-ass comments, so then we're sitting here, a few people on Mumble, our Mumble server, and then um, we're thinking, all right, let's change his avatar to the Magusta face, and so we did. Um, we're just messing with him at this point because you know he's already shown that he's gonna be exiled from the community, and you know I didn't hesitate to just pick on him at that point. And then um, instead of just straight up banning, so then I global ban, and then someone's like, dude, that's a little harsh, because um, that's gonna if I global ban, that means it's every server he signs into with MC bans, which is a lot of servers by the way. Um, that record will follow him as just being a troublemaker and a lot of servers won't even give him a chance because of that but you know i did take it off uh Star Fox requested it so to prevent him from going to the forum advertising his server out which he has tried to in the past um i went ahead and deleted his forum account and then of course he made a new one then i ip banned him um so there's how all that went down today and that is probably why i'm not in the best of moods but, you know, of course, um, we ban someone like that. That is just a negative part of the community. Uh, normally, things work out for the better. Like, we had that Russian boy situation a couple weeks ago, along with Dan the Man. Um, it sucks. I think he was contemplating buying VIP. But what a lot of people don't realize, um, which it's weird because I have to ban more VIP members than normal, is they do have the same rules. And just because you were able to throw a few bucks towards a server um, just to help support it doesn't mean I'm going to bend the rules for you. You get what I'm saying? Um, I hate it when I say that, get what I'm saying? Um, so, with that being said, I just, when people, they come on here and they think, oh, I'm going to throw in a couple bucks and, yeah, the rules are going to be different for me. I'm going to have a little bit more leeway. No, that's not going to happen. I'm sorry. Um, if you donate, your rules stay the same. You can go through and do, which I think that bug's just about, like, gone. You cannot use x-ray. You cannot get items spawned. Of course, it does put you on a higher standards with me. Um, that's, let's just be honest. You're helping out the server, but I'm not going to let you come in here and break every rule that I put in place to help keep the server running for over four months now. So, um, I hope we run for, until Minecraft's, like, non-existent anymore. Um, I think we will be able to run that kind of community. I ended up in a completely separate city. Um, I guess this will be a project one day. Um, project video, that's a spleef arena. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. I had to get some of that stuff off my chest because these people just piss me off sometimes. Um, and you know, being a server admin, you know, um, I have to kind of be fair to people. I'm one of the more fair admins, but um, you know, if you straight up piss me off, he caught me at a really bad time. Normally, I probably would have let that go, but um, yeah. So thank you guys for watching. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Remember, if you want to join, just go to the form, fill out a whitelist application. Um, a lot of people that join the server that actually intend on playing love it. Um, and even if I sent in a request to someone at Bucket um, to make a plugin that will let us remove our whitelist, and you can actually register on the forum um, from the server. Um, and someone said they try to make it. So thank you guys for watching, and I will talk to you guys. Ooh, I'm going to have to show this off one day. Um, this is an interesting little project. So I'll talk to you guys tomorrow, let's hope, even though I'm going to have a really busy couple weeks ahead of me. So later.